much requested uh, a lot a lot of comments lately a lot of questions on layout and that's a tough one to to um uh that's a tough one to teach uh, off site so uh, i've been trying my best to show everybody how it actually works the like the building uh, actually works starting with the piling ask anything you want uh ask anyone i probably i i literally get back to everybody or at least acknowledge like heart or like or whatever you know so um just yeah and anybody who ever asks a question um i try to get back to them as fast as i can um usually within 24 hours but sometimes i'll miss one or whatnot and it'll be a while this is the first time i've done the whiteboard thing so let's bear with me if anything's kind of funky and please let me know if thing, you can't hear me or you can't see something okay or you don't understand something just please let, ask me no problem okay uh, just comment or leave a chat you know what I mean so uh, good to see everybody welcome man welcome good to see you man deep <clears throat> so I want to I want to go into some basics first, okay? Uh, to explain where why we like where layout comes from, and then I'll get into the um, into like how we like the exterior kind of uh, the the objectives of, of of framing the exterior, and uh, and then I'll talk about doing the walls, like you were asking there, Philip, uh, and show you how we do the like get the figure it out the drywall, okay? So <clears throat> it all starts like I I'm saying with piles. First, I want to make sure everyone hear me. Check, check. Everyone hear me nice and loud. Uh, if, if not, I can turn my mic up. Okay, so let me know if you, if you need me to turn my mic up. So a, a typical, just basic square box store or something, okay? Uh, it could be a convenience store with, uh, say, a bathroom, back room, or what, what, whatever, okay? Uh, it's just a box, all right? Very typical. We do tons of this stuff. The, the piles are going to be in the ground, like I'm saying, okay? And they'll be in the corner, middle, corner, middle, corner, middle, corner, middle. Uh, there'll be more piles, uh, if you can imagine, under the slab, okay? Say, like, there'll be one here, um, at least, okay? And then there'll be a grade beam sort of thing. Boom, 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 okay? There'll be concrete all the way around. And then the slab. All right, something like that. Okay, it's very typical. The <clears throat> the piles uh, uh, go like I was saying. They go underground, and then they get capped. Okay, and then this uh, it, structural like there's like a a plate that'll be embedded in the concrete for the columns. Okay, the column will be attached. So and then from the columns at the top there'll be I beams. Okay, like so. All right. We have our piles, uh, and, and that's where we get our grid lines from, okay? It's from the center of these. And um, the objective of the exterior wall is to have a nice, even finish at, on the exterior. So uh, if, if the steel stud doesn't quite cover the entire area of the, of the structural steel, like you see here, okay? Uh, you want to always force it to the outside of the steel if you know what I mean, okay? You want it to be nice and flat on the outside, um, and you can always fix the inside, right? You can have a double wall, you can do fur it, you can do whatever, okay? The main objective is to get the outside uh, perfect. <clears throat> so uh, remember for the roof, okay? There's always parapets, okay? So this is your roof here, Q deck, and then you'll have your parapet. So your parapet's at the top here, and then this is your wall, okay? You, you have to make sure the drywall can, can will be nice and flat, okay? All the way up, all the way around. So when you're laying it out, check from corner to corner. Always check, just do a quick check. You set up your rotating laser, okay? Somewhere over here uh, with a two inch offset, okay? Two inch offset. That way you can take the reader and just check the points, okay? You wanna check uh, uh, the top, in the far corner, okay? You wanna make sure that the steel is gonna, is gonna pass. You can go flush it as you want and, or bring it out, but don't put the steel on the inside. So if, if you're uh, drawing, say, a certain thing, just no matter what, just, just, just change your layout, your lines, so that everything works, okay? You don't have to build anything out. It has to, be, it has to work on the outside uh, of the building, okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, the parapets obviously are, are for the roof. Okay, we have a roof up here, and um, there's always going to be like an I beam or some kind of structural steel in there, and expansion joints, 
right? So the expansion joint will be at the slip track itself. And so what you need is you need to have, you need to plan, okay? A lot of the times what we do is we shoot angle in our, in the iron, okay? We'll put angle in the iron. Uh, you can put it just at the top mostly. Uh, sometimes they're big beams, we put it at the top, or oh, sorry, at the bottom too. And this always gets insulated, always, okay? The, uh, that I-beam always gets insulated. Um, so keep that in mind, all right? Insulate it. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it up for a second. <clears throat> okay. So do you understand that? You can, hopefully you understand that. It's, exterior framing is so easy, guys. It's so easy. That's all you have to do. And make sure your, your level, your plumb, and, 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 and your steel, okay? It covers on the, uh, like it, it, it'll cover, okay? So the, the dense last, the exterior board is gonna be beautiful, okay? Uh, there's not gonna be any structure sticking out, right? That's what, you don't want that. So set your laser, your rotating laser up, two inch offset and check your corners, okay? <clears throat> All the way around. When you go to do this wall, same thing. You're gonna check, check, check and adjust your layout in or out, <clears throat> in or out so uh, it works. Now, it's not, it might, just whatever you do, make sure it's not like too far, like, you know, crooked. You keep adjusting, bring it in, bring it in, okay, until you're, until you'll, until you got a nice even number, uh, you check both ends, and, and usually it's going to be sticking out in places like in the middle a little bit or something, so that's when you just bring your line out, but you want to make sure you're, you're snapping lines the same distance, so if you come off, uh, like say you're um, uh, a half inch out on this side, okay? You wanna be a half inch out on this side and you, you snap your line and, you, and hopefully you're half inch out from the middle as well, but you check. If you have to adjust and bring it out, make sure you bring it out the same number. So if you gotta come out three quarter number, so if you gotta come out three quarter on this end, come out three quarter on the other and so on and so on. Always come out the same um, on both ends, okay? And then when you're going this way, same thing, okay? If you gotta bring your line out a half inch or a quarter inch or whatever, bring it out half inch, quarter inch on the other side. Just keep these two the same, all right? It doesn't matter what it is in the middle because you wanna snap your line and it's gonna be straight and then you'll end up, and then you'll be square all the way around, okay? You're not gonna, you're not gonna measure corner to quarter and check square, okay? You're not gonna do that, okay? You're gonna do what I just said and go the same distance from center of column out, okay, to make sure that your steel um, is good in, in your in your in your board, you'll get coverage, okay. No messing around. Simple. It's really easy, guys. You just have the <clears throat> excuse me. You have to have the right right gear. The rotating laser is awesome. And then after you get your line snapped, okay, you don't you don't really need a rotator, but even though they're the best, you can use pin lasers, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, I do love do love rotators. I gotta get me one, okay, because once I get one. I got, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to use it and stuff like that. I don't even own one yet, so myself, but I'm going to get one. So we're, we've been talking about it already. That's really quick, simple, easy, dirty. Um, I, I mean, we've, we talked about the, you know, we're going to fit the walls in, inside, in between columns. Um, and then you're going to come in eight inches or six inches or whatever your, um, whatever your thickness is for the wall. Just snap your lines. I always snap the both sides of the line for some reason. I just do that if I can, that is, right? And you can't always. Um, but yeah, and then this will all sit on the grade beam. This will all be grade beam and the grade beam will be wide enough for you to put your wall on. And a lot of the times the dens glass will come down flush almost to the grade beam. So you'll come in like five eighths uh, off the, uh, or half inch in from the grade beam even. And, um, but it's not always the case. Like I just said, you gotta make sure you have to check both corners to make sure that's, that the layout's gonna work, okay? You don't wanna be the fool at the end of the day and you're finishing framing over here and all of a sudden, Oh my goodness, the, you know, uh, the, the walls, the st structural steel sticking out like, oh no, like then you're screwed. Okay. You just did all that work for nothing. Cause you, you got to fix that somehow. Right. So just do the quick check at the beginning, set yourself up for success.